वेलकम टू वीकली फॉरेक्स फॉरकास्ट फ्रॉम फॉरेक्स ट्रेडिंग उजर अकेडमी दिस इज फॉरेक्स उजर यू ट्रेडिंग कोच आई विल बी डूइंग ए कंप्लीट मल्टी टाइम फ्रेम एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल द हॉटेस्ट करेंसी पेयर्स क्रिप्टो करेंसीज एंड इंडिसेस दैट यू विल बी लुकिंग टू ट्रेड नेक्स्ट वीक द लिस्ट इज अ बिट लॉन्गर एज यूजुअल बट डोंट वरी आई विल पुट अ टाइम स्टैंप इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एरिया बट आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच ऑल ऑफ देम एज यू हैव सीन इन माय पास्ट वीक वीकली फॉरेक्स फॉरकास्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द पेयर्स डीड एग्जैक्टली according to the analysis this week all the pairs are extremely volatile as you have seen nfp already released and we see that most of the pairs showing a clear direction in the market so before i begin guys and girls make sure you smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet press that bell notification so that you don't miss out any of the content that i'm releasing every single day with the being said let's begin this week weekly forex podcast <clears throat> okay traders so we'll be starting first of all with Aussie dollar now as usual in all our analysis we we'll start with the higher time frame and then we'll jump on to lower time frame to see how we can trade now Aussie dollar starting with the monthly time frame why we look at monthly because monthly weekly will give you a clear direction in the market removing all the noise from the lower time frame and then we'll jump on to lower time frame to see how we can find trading opportunity now starting with the monthly we see that Aussie dollar as expected it is in a strongly bearish market if you look at the overall market structure you can see that historically Aussie dollar from the monthly perspective creating series of lower high after this big long term channel we have seen Aussie dollar has broken to the downside from this channel now dropping to the downside now this month in the first week we have seen a push up as expected in a trending market now we see Aussie dollar is coming down because it's a strong bearish market previous months we have this long bearish candle this month we still can expect a drop in this direction as the law of trading is what is dropping is likely to drop now looking at the weekly perspective there is a high probability for the next week to drop as you can see first of all on the weekly time frame this is a very very strong drop after the weekly head and shoulder on the Aussie dollar you can see there is a nice looking head and shoulder and then we have seen an aggressive drop from this head and shoulder after this bearish candle now this week as we this is the closed candle of the you know uh, this week's now what we have seen a significant retracement and then again came back down now there is a strong confluence in this weekly candle if you look at the high of the weekly candle what you saw that the price basically has gone up broke the previous week's high and that is the high probability that now aussie dollar has a strong confluence for dropping as it has grabbed the liquidity passing the previous week's high means that it has a huge liquidity in it now at the same time if we can ex see the retracement because when the price was dropping on the weekly perspective it has gone up for retracement let's check our fibonacci from the high to the low we see that aussie dollar in fact almost retraced 38.2 percent fibonacci level which is exactly not there but we see that it has gone for retracement that means that aussie dollar now after opening you might see even a gap opening and then continue to drop or after little retracement we can expect aussie dollar to continue to drop it's highly bearish now looking at the daily in aussie dollar we have seen a very strong confluence for dropping as well on the daily perspective if you look at the this daily candle what you saw that after the back to back two days dodges we have seen one day the price has crossed this daily high which is the high probability for dropping grab the liquidity from this zone and then closed with this long bearish candle followed by last day of trading week after little retracement we have seen aussie dollar now currently below all this important level of support on the weekly monthly and daily if you draw this daily level of support what we see with this green candle this is a fake move to the upside and then has dropped back below now what we can expect on aussie dollar the price basically to test a little bit to the upside high probability that this support is being tested as resistance and then to continue to drop so monthly weekly and daily is aligning for a higher probability for dropping in this long-term 
bearish market. Now, on the four-hour perspective, Aussie dollar has given us a strong bearish head over during the NFP. You can see the head in the green straight streaming as well, followed by this doji, which is a continuation pattern, and this is the last session's bearish candle. Now, how we can trade Aussie dollar? Now, what I think that what I will be waiting, as you can see, this is the dotted line that we see on the daily perspective the previous support which is acting as a resistance now for our perspective there are two probability now in the new session of the trading we could see a gap opening and a strong drop if that's the case gap down or even we could see a gap up opening and then drop in any situation as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunities especially i will be waiting for the price to come back and test this daily support which is also on the four hour perspective there's important developed support here with this green candle support here to be tested as a resistance and as soon as i will find that price action which is i'm looking for according to the rules of our strategies so we'll consider going short on aussie dollar with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at aussie yen now aussie yen you can see that this is also a strongly bearish market let's look at again overall picture on aussie yen now, if you look at bigger picture, in fact, Aussie yen is in a bullish market where Aussie dollar is in a bearish market. Now, why this market is bullish, but still it's coming down. As you can see, the past month, there is a very strong rejection, a pin bar. So when you see a pin bar after breaking this you know, monthly trend line and close back below as a pin bar or a bearish candle, now we can expect at least come to back to at least same length of this monthly candle that can in fact now give us a shorting opportunity in Aussie yen and what I think that Aussie yen even might break all this low as Aussie dollar getting very weaker testing this previous resistance here which is still an imbalance you can see this is the pre the possible low here and this is the previous swing high and this gap has not been tested yet which is acting as an imbalance in the market and i think that aussie yen now preparing for a drop to this level before creating any move to the upside so monthly is highly bearish weekly perspective as like aussie dollar weekly perspective aussie yen also has an element of false breakout you can see it has crossed the previous swings high and then closed as a dodgy which is highly likely that will continue to drop if you draw a trend line with that candle we see that basically aussie yen highly bearish now what i think in the new trading with like aussie dollar we might see a little bit of up price as a retracement and then we could continue we could see that aussie yen also coming down as yen is weaker on the daily perspective this is the previous day and last day of trading we also bearish so a strongly bearish and golfer from this 20 period moving average this is the daily chart followed by this candle is a continuation pattern now if you look at bigger picture on the daily time frame we see that Aussie yen this is the head left shoulder right shoulder so this is a typical head and shoulder with the right side is lower than the left side that is the sign that Aussie yen basically will change its trend from uptrend to the downtrend locally and i think that aussie yen is coming back to this previous swing high here will test as a support and probably from here we could see another push to the upside so with that all in mind on the daily perspective monthly weekly and daily we see potential shorting opportunity on aussie yen now for entry perspective what i think this is the one point that we can expect with this previous support acting as a resistance one in the other situation is we could potentially see a price and testing this previous support there is a dodgy here which is acting as a resistance here so if we look at the intraday perspective these are the two zone two level that i will be keenly waiting for aussie yen to test and to create a bearish price action according to the rules of our strategies we'll consider shorting aussie yen with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro and zd First of all, we look at bigger picture monthly time frame. The Euro and ZD after the previous months, such a big long candle. This month, as expected, we have seen a drop, which is a healthy retracement after this big move. Now, what we can expect? Let's look at weekly time frame to see. Now we see that on the weekly also there is a big move happened, followed by this week we have seen a half body half week red candle now if you closely look at what you can see that in fact 
your NZD has created an weekly scandal at the top. That means that as soon as market open, we have seen a very strong selling pressure. So what is likely to happen in the new trading week? What I think that after a little retracement, we could potentially see another drop on Euro NZD to the downside as it didn't retrace enough on the high, you know, higher time frame perspective. Looking at the daily, the price action on the daily is also neither bullish nor bearish because as you can see on the higher time frame perspective, we could potentially see further deeper retracement. Now, as you can see, this, this zone here on Euro NZD, only this triangle is in fact a bullish triangle. So on the daily and monthly, weekly, we see a little bit of contradiction. So what I will be doing on Euro NZD is that the first thing, if we see, if you look at the first daily, what what is likely to happen? Let me explain. You can see with the triangle, there is a liquidity gap at the bottom. You see that. So that's a sign that this triangle is likely to break up. Okay, there is one probability. Another probability is just to drop from here to the downside, which is less probability. As you can see on the because I will be trading on the lower time frame, and then there is a probability for on, on the lower time frame. We see still bullish move now on the four hour perspective. We see the price has created an inverted head and shoulder in the last session. We have seen this bearish angle for that has an element of false breakout as well. So what is likely to happen? What I will be waiting for on Euro NZD is to break this previous local resistance here. You can see this is the resistance here acting here as resistance and also acting here as resistance as the price already has broken out of this resistance level on the four hour time frame you see this bullish candle and also tested this if we see what i think that we could potentially see a very strong bullish move like this one as a bullish engulfer that has broken this resistance completely or gap opening a strong move then we'll consider going long on euro and zd from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students on the other hand, if we see that Euro NZD has created a bearish price section, then we'll wait for a clear change of trend and then we'll consider shorting. And I'll keep you updated during the week. Let's look at now GBP USD, starting with monthly perspective. Now, British pound US dollar on the monthly perspective, without any question, it's a strongly bearish market. And this price section the previous month has created. I mentioned in many of my analysis that after you see this kind of price action when you have a strongly falling market with a red body and long week in most cases you can expect this price come back down again to test this week of this zone so that means that the price tested the high part of that zone now we can expect this price come back down and to test this which can give us a significant trading opportunity on the lower time frame we can expect it to drop again now weekly perspective we see british pound us dollar has created a really nice looking price action first of all bigger picture you can see british pound us dollar without any question in a downtrend creating series of lower high and lower low now this week we have seen an aggressive move to the upside and tested this very important zone you can see there is a bearish and golfer on british pound US dollar on the weekly perspective and got this green candle in this very important zone and from that zone what we have seen that british pound US dollar has created a nice looking textbook pin bar now after this kind of pin bar what i think that gbpsd will just continue to drop so let's with that said on weekly and monthly we see potential for drop now daily perspective we have seen that gbp usd now created this move to the upside if we draw a trend line here we see the price basically overextended to the upside on the daily time frame there was a daily head and shoulder you can see that here and that head and shoulder basically tested this neckline on this previous support zone here as a resistance and we have seen gbp usd has been strongly rejected that means that gbp usd is likely to continue to drop then where we can expect it to trade GBPUSD again as you can see there is a daily 20 period moving average what I think that we might potentially see another test or without test we could potentially see a drop now this is the four hour time frame what I will be doing thinly waiting for the price to come back to this very very important level as you can see 
there is a previous resistance here with this long candle acting here as a support and also this one is acting as a resistance and this bearish candle which is the nfp candle you can see that which is a high probability for you know there is a lot of volume in this zone so what i will be waiting on gbp usd is to give a little bit of retracement probability to this zone will be a very very important area as soon as the price will retrace to this level especially in this zone if i see any kind of price section on the lower time frame for shorting from this zone i will be considering shorting gbp usd as you can see on the four hour perspective we see that this market is creating series of lower high and lower low and it's a downtrend in market local and global together downtrend and on, at the same time you see that gbp usd on the four hour perspective created a neckline here which is the previous resistance here resistance here which might act as a support i will be targeting to this zone for potential shorting on gbp usd with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at a unique hand how it is doing starting with again monthly perspective now, as you can see that ud is very very weak up and a ud can this is what i mentioned in my previous weekly forex forecast you have seen that on the monthly perspective it is in an impulsive phase to the downside long term bearish you see every month the price was creating series of lower high in this downtrending market followed by you see there is a big drop happen retracement now we see that a ud can is coming down and what we can expect as you can see there is no significant level of support we might see some free fall on AUD CAD as CAD is getting very stronger weekly perspective on AUD CAD now if you review my previous weekly forest forecast you have seen this is what exactly I mentioned on the weekly there is a nice looking head and shoulder and then we have seen now it is continuing to drop breaking out of this head and shoulder and we have see, we have secured this we have seen quite a few winning trades on a unique can now after this this is the weekly candle that is closed clearly what i think that a ud can now prepare for a bigger drop now where we can expect to sell a ud can if we draw a trend line with this weekly week what i think that this could be the zone where we can find potential selling opportunity on a unique can this is the daily candle after the previous days you know this one the middleman from this 20 period moving average followed by a strong drop now what i think a ud can possibly will retrace to this level where well, you can see this is the daily support here acting this is the big daily support and also in the past the same zone acted here as a support might test as a resistance on the lower time frame and then we can expect a ud can to continue its downtrend creating series of lower high and lower low now on the four hour perspective you can see back to back three sessions after the nfp release we have seen a strong drop now on the on this time frame as well we have seen a ud can created another fake move this is another fake move liquidity gap and with that liquidity gap it has basically completed a head and shoulder here so that's a sign that a ud can is ready for a big drop to the downside now on the opening of the new trading week, i will be waiting for a you know slow retracement to the upside especially to this level will be a really good place for shorting a ud cad as soon as i will see that kind of price section according to the rules of the strategy a strong rejection from this neckline of this head and shoulder i'll be considering shorting a ud cad with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at cadian now cadian you can see there's a long term bullish market now it is moving in a sideways yen getting a little bit of stronger Cadian started to move in a sideways, but let's look at now where it is heading. Now, on the monthly perspective, Cadian long term bullish market. Previous months, you have seen this strong rejection. This month, as soon as market opened, the bulls didn't make any mistake, they started to buy as soon as the monthly closed. So, after this kind of movement, we can expect further uprise on this one. Weekly perspective we have seen Cadian in fact created a bullish engulfer this candle is a weakless bullish engulfer in this uptrending market in a very important area of value if you see this is a, in fact a very important level of support if you closely look you will see that this weekly candle even didn't cross the previous two weeks low that means that Cadian prepared for a bigger move to the upside in this direction as this is a long-term bullish market now looking at the daily we see that Cadian, in fact 
created a price section now what i think that if you closely look at you can see that there is a, a pattern being developed on carrying uh, this trend line is being respected what i will be waiting for in the new trading week carrying after this is the daily chart as you can see what i think after testing this 20 period moving on you might see high probability carrying will drop again and this is the zone that i will be actively waiting for a potential bullish setup and i think that that could be the very good place for buying carrying with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro aud now like euro and z we discussed euro aud looking like the price action on the daily time frame it is a bullish now if you look at monthly we see that euro aud after the previous month's bullish candle this month the price gone up again came back down and on the monthly it is long term bearish market the price is testing this previous support here acting as resistance weekly we see that the price created this dodgy as, as i mentioned this is a long time bullish market but we see that on the weekly there was a liquidity gap this week the price as expected came down has come down and then gone up what i think now there are two potential scenario on euro cad euro aud is one scenario the price straight go up from here shoot to the upside and the scenario is the price come back down and then to go up so with that said let's look at on the daily time frame now what i will be doing basically i will be waiting first scenario is for euro aud to create probably will create a gap opening or gap up or gap down something like that on the four hour perspective or daily perspective probably on the four hour if we see very strong bullish move we'll consider going long as on the four hour perspective you see that euro aud has created in fact an inverted head and shoulder and what i think that euro aud might respect this channel you can see it's already respecting and then may continue to go up so as soon as we'll find suitable entry opportunity on euro aud from this zone according to the rules of our strategies we'll consider going long on euro aud with a high probability trade setup with our students on the other hand if we see that euro aud has a very strong drop change of trend then we'll consider shorting based on the man new market structure and i'll keep you updated during the trading week or wherever you are following me so now let's look at usd zar starting with monthly perspective now you can see that usd zar on the monthly this is a long term bullish market if you look at the monthly price section you can see clearly that every month the price was creating series of higher high and higher low now previous months you see that there was a liquidity gap followed by a long candle now this month we see expected retracement now we see some bullish move is happening so what i think that on us desire we still could see some uprise as this is a long term bullish market we still can expect it to go up on the weekly perspective this is the weekly close on us desire now we see that there is a, a pin bar or a dodgy has been formed now this kind of price section is to me is highly bearish what i think that us desire might open with a gap or probably will, after a little retracement we could potentially see a candle like this now daily we see us desire already started to push up after this liquidity gap which is expected you have seen in my opening forex podcast now how i will be trading what i think that us desire as i mentioned either could open with a gap on the daily as, as you can see it has already broken this all this resistance and residing above so what i will be doing if it opens with a gap and then pushing high i will be immediately entering us desire it's, it's a long term bullish market or if i see that us desire has gone up down for retracement which is probability one probability to test this support here okay, which is uh, to test as support at that point I'll be considering going long on USD ZAR from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students. So these are the two zones that I'll be waiting for a potential bullish setup on USD ZAR. Okay, so now let's look at GBP, JPY. Let's see what kind of trading opportunity we have in GJ. Starting again with the monthly time frame to see the general direction in the market. Now GJ, we see that previous months has created this giant dodgy that's a huge dodge as you can see it has crossed all the low of this monthly candle and almost quite a few months high and low so after this kind of dodgy what you can expect the price first to test 
some part of this doji on the top side and now you see the price is coming down so when you see a doji like that what you can expect the price to test this zone and this zone together so we have seen already monthly perspective gbp jpy already tested this high of this doji now it is coming down means we can expect now the price to drop to test the lower part of this doji that means that we can find significant trading opportunity on the lower time frame looking at the weekly you can see that there is a there is another rejection on the weekly perspective and we have seen a very strong rejection after this kind of rejection what we can expect after probably little retracement is to come back down again at least certain level that can give us a really good trading opportunity if we look at the daily we have seen from here there is a strong rejection to the upside and then we have seen with this bearish candle again the price is making its move to the downside so what i think that gj might do if you look at the four hour perspective we see that gbp jpy in fact reversed from here creating this price section so reversal pattern has broken up and then created this consolidation again another push up now what we saw that at some point during the last week we have seen gbp jpy created a reversal pattern here and then creating series of lower high and lower low pushing down what i think that gbp jp is likely to do as you can see in this move to the upside this zone has not been tested there's an imbalance in this zone on gbp jpy now what i think that gbp jpy is likely to drop to this previous neckline which is the resistance of this reversal pattern you can see there is a big move creating this reversal pattern now what we can expect the price to come back to this level and then to create some kind of bullish move which is on the monthly perspective we are expecting it to come back down then where we can expect to trade gj now this is the bearish candle which is the nfp candle now what we can expect in the new trading with gj to go up a little bit to retrace and as soon as i will find suitable entry opportunity in this zone according to the rules of our strategies we'll consider shorting gbp jpy to take this move to the downside with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at your head let's see what kind of price action and trading opportunity we have in this instrument we look at the first of all monthly by euro cad you can see that euro cad is very strong and as a result we saw some downward move on euro cad after the back to back two months up price so the price is now this is the monthly candle which we still can't predict as the month is just started weekly perspective we have seen that euro cad just above this red candle you can see that so let's draw a level on this one and to see actually what might happen so this red candle in this movement on the weekly creating a very important level of support so for this move and what i think that euro can now from this zone we might see some bullish move as euro looks like a little bit of bullish looking at the daily we have seen the price action there was a big move on the daily followed by this pattern this is also a bullish pattern you can see when you see a price section like that triangle after this uh, bullish move and then triangle the price normally break down and then go up so with that said euro cad we have seen on the daily already has a breakdown so from that zone what i think that in the new trading week after little retracement testing this this previous resistance zone here acting as support euro cad might continue to rise so with that said on the forward perspective the price is testing this previous resistance here and also if you closely look at this on the lower time frame this all our resistance zone and acting here as a support so once i will see suitable entry point in the zone for potential bullish setup on euro cad we will consider going long on euro cad with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro dollar which is a very very important pair to trade now we'll be looking at first of all monthly time frame as mentioned to see a clear direction in the market now euro dollar as you can see in all my analysis if you reviewed me you have seen exactly this is what i tell that euro dollar previous months has created this middleman 
and after creation of this middleman the price gone up to this important level and we have seen as expected a very strong rejection now you can see long term bearish market on euro dollar every month creating a series of lower high and lower low and in that long term bearish market when you see this kind of middleman in this strongly falling market you can expect a couple of candles to be printed to the downside so with that said on the monthly perspective euro dollar has a huge potential for dropping further looking at the weekly time frame we see the nice looking pin bar has been formed on euro dollar after this kind of pin but then there are two probability for euro dollar to take, go up again to test this previous resistance support as resistance and then drop or we even could see immediate drop from here on euro dollar now let's draw all the possible trend line and level to see in fact where we can expect euro dollar for trading now we see monthly weekly giving us a potential bear setup now if you look at daily it's very important time frame as many traders trade on daily you see that in this daily mode there is a doji has left and this land on euro dollar on the daily is basically a liquidity gap now we can potentially draw the possible trend line on euro dollar if we closely look at we'll see that in fact euro dollar has created two trend line which always the market does this one is the upper one that has touched in all of this point with this liquidity gap and whenever the price create this liquidity gap it is respecting this resistance the other one that we can draw on euro dollar is with this level that is with this daily head and shoulder let me draw this one then you see that you can see there is a head and shoulder on the daily time frame and the price has broken down so with that head and shoulder we see that the neckline which is acting here as a support acting here as a resistance and also acting here as a support now with that said what we see that this previous support acting as a resistance and also acting as a resistance here with this dodgy what i think that in the new trading week the price might go up and test this level probably will create a dodgy on the daily or any kind of lower time frame price section to test this previous support zone here acting as resistance and then we'll consider shorting euro dollar and i think that could be a very important area for selling euro dollar on the forward perspective we see that this level now is acting here as resistance resistance here resistance here and what i will be expecting euro dollar to go up to we'll test this very important zone here and then to create a potential bearish price section and from that zone i will be considering shorting as soon as i will find suitable price section confirmation for this move to the downside with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd can again we'll be looking at the monthly time frame now monthly nzd can is extremely bearish this is what i mentioned you can see after the back to back two monthly dodges we have seen that nzd can followed by previous months also a very strong bearish candle this month as expected the price has gone up tested this very important liquidity zone let's draw a level here we see as expected the price tested this bottom of this doji support which is acting as a resistance and we have seen that nzd can started to reject now on the weekly perspective this is the weekly candle that is giving us a really high probability for dropping on nzd can let's find out why this is happening like that now first of all nzd can we see a nice looking head and shoulder on the weekly creating couple of dodges and then has broken down so when you see a head and shoulder like that as breakdown you can expect the price to go ahead and test this support which is acting here as a resistance and we have seen that nzd cat did it with this long candle and the weekly nzd cat has created this bearish candle which is highly likely that as you can see this weekly candle in fact tested this neckline created this move and that has a liquidity from this middleman we have seen that from top of this middleman it has grabbed liquidity means that we can potentially now see a bigger move on nzd cat even with a gap opening so monthly weekly giving us a potential shorting opportunity on the daily time frame we have seen nzd cat has broken all this very important daily level of support as you can see quite a few days the price respecting this support and then has gone up grab liquidity with this daily candle and then has broken down so which is typical trending market and typical price action when you see in a daily 
an important you know a structure which has first broke up grab liquidity now coming down means in fact and ZDK now after testing this previous support acting here as a resistance we can find a very good shorting opportunity on NZD can then how I will be trading let's look at for our perspective what I will be waiting for on the new trading with either testing this previous support zone as a resistance which is high probability or with a gap opening as soon as I will find suitable entry opportunity from this zone we'll consider shorting NZD CAD with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at dollar here now in this as you can see this is the trade that we have opened with our VAP students you can see in the uh, live streaming also that YouTube live streaming you probably have seen that we have opened that trade which is running in profit and will hold the trade until we find the full profit which is almost three more than three times profit target on this one so we'll be looking at first of all full analysis monthly perspective now dollar yen is a very important pair now for for all of us as you can see dollar yen is long time bullish market monthly perspective if you see that overall market structure dollar yen is highly bullish starting from here there was a big move followed by series of higher high and higher low so long term you can see the dollar yen is bullish if you closely look at you see the health of these green candles and health of this red candle will tell you what is the difference between buyers and sellers in this market now this after the previous months closing this healthy bullish candle on dollar yen this month we have seen the dollar yen after little retracement we see dollar yen start to push up what i think that dollar yen will just explode to the upside as this is a long term bullish market weekly perspective there is a high probability now for dollar yen to go up you can see there is a big weekly bullish can you know move followed by there is a liquidity grab with this long dodge on the weekly back to back two dodges so after this kind of liquidity grab what we can expect that you you know uh, dollar yen is preparing for a move now let's see it is in fact believing in a healthy trending market or no first of all if we consider this move on dollar yen up to here and take our fibonacci we see that in fact dollar yen has retraced 38.2 percent fibonacci this is the zone where it has started another impulse means that dollar yen now will create new higher high highly likely to happen now this current closed of this you know pin bar or dodge on dollar yen is also a bullish market let's draw this previous support zone resistance zone on the weekly you see quite a few weekly candle created this resistance now the price is above this resistance and from this zone we can expect now dollar yen to continue to go up now looking at the daily we see that this is the last day of trading week that has closed with this pin bar which is above this weekly resistance resistance here also resistance here resistance here now in the new trading we may expect a test of this resistance as support and then to go up or even we could potentially go up see it going up from here so with that said let's look at for our perspective where we have opened this trading in nfp you can see this is the long middle man created during the nfp followed by back to back two bullish candles so what i will be waiting for dollar yen as we are running one trade I always love to add more position when the price is winning so if we see dollar yen again retest to this level and giving us again bullish price section from this zone we'll consider longing dollar yen from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at usd chf again a bigger picture now usd chf on the monthly perspective you can see it is turning into a very strongly bullish market this is the monthly candle that that is almost above all this resistance means that we might potentially see a big move to the upside on USD CHF looking at the weekly perspective we see if you look at closely this price section is highly bullish let's analyze this price section you can see there is a triangle here on USD CHF and from that triangle we have seen this is a the fake out to the downside on this triangle you can see this is the liquidity gap and then we have seen USDCHF has gone up you know broken to the upside tested this previous sub you know, resistance zone as a support and then now we see that USDCHF is going up means that it has in fact started its trend like that 
and he is likely to go up so monthly weekly giving us a high probability for going up now looking at the daily we see that USD CHF there is a very high probability for going up look at the daily candle this one here it has tested this 20 period moving average here you can see this support and also it has closed two days low that's a liquid liquid followed by this is the last day of trading week and narrow candle which in fact completely has been separated from this previous resistance which is turning support and if you look at the four hour we see that ULDCH have in fact creating a very strong bullish price section so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on ULDCH for potential bullish setup from this zone we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at USD as GD now USD as GD like all other USD pairs we see that highly bullish starting with again monthly on this pair you see that previous months this long bullish candle after this kind of bullish candle from such a long time consolidation we can expect this price just to now trend to the upside looking at the weekly we see that this week the price in fact came back down here which basically a retracement of this move so take our fibonacci from starting of this move to the end of the move we see the price retrace 50 percent fibonacci level and then pushing high so this weekly candle in fact giving us a you know confluence for going long when the sellers tried to push this price down on usd as gd we saw that there's a long we created meaning that in fact the bulls are very active in this market looking at the daily this is the daily time frame as you can see there's a liquidity gap here with this 20 period moving average and then the price is pushing high so what we will be waiting in the new trading week after little retracement we can expect in fact go you know the price to continue to go up so with that said on the lower time frame you see that after creating double bottom already usds gd created a bullish market structure you can see that so with that said what we will be waiting on usds gd for a potential retracement and then we'll consider going long from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gold guys what we can see now as you can see dollar getting stronger means gold is potentially short possible bearish setup now looking at the monthly to see bigger picture on gold how this market is doing now you have seen in all my analysis i was always bearish on gold and every time the price is working out very well now what we can expect on this gold market this is the month the price section we have seen the previous months this is the closed candle which is in fact a breakout candle from this monthly support zone let's draw this monthly support which in fact acted here as a resistance with this doji in the past this long doji the same level acted here as a support and also support here now it has tested as resistance as back to back to monthly opening and close and we have seen primarily rejecting and this is the monthly candle what i think that this price in fact will continue to drop in this direction now looking at weekly perspective we see that as i mentioned in, in all my analysis you see the price is doing exactly this candle on the weekly breakout candle is really, really crucial if you look at the high you see the price basically cross the narrow doji on the weekly completely engulfed to the upside and also engulfed to the downside with a long week at the top and week at the bottom creating a middleman and as a result we have seen a drop after that drop as expected the price has gone up again creating a lower high with that zone so that's the sign that the price is respecting this resistance and what we can expect now gold is to continue to drop probably along this trend line respecting this trend line now this is the closed candle on the weekly what i think that one probability is gold to just to melt from here directly like that another probability is to go up and test this resistance and then to come down so what is likely to happen let's look at daily perspective what i think that gold on the daily you can see the price already came to this daily 20 period moving average what i think we might potentially see some retracement to the upside on the daily as well and from that zone we could potentially see that gold is coming down so with that said on the internet perspective we see that gold created a 
head and shoulder on the daily on the four hour time frame you can see this is the head and shoulder and there is a little bit of imbalance in this zone you can see this zone has not been tested on gold so in what situation i will be selling gold the first scenario a breakout from this support zone as you can see on the four hour time frame the price on a level of support which already has broken so if it is not a false breakout then what we could potentially see that gold might have opened with a gap and then coming down from here one probability another probability is gold going up again for a deeper retracement to we'll test this trend line here and then coming back down so if we see a significant bearish price action especially from this zone here as there is a head and shoulder on the four hour time frame strong bearish price action then we'll consider shorting gold from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students on the other hand if we see that gold is creating a bullish price action here then we'll wait as this is a long term bearish market we will not be a buyer on gold at all and in that case if we see a suitable price action from this zone then we will consider going short on gold with a high probability trade setup with our students at the same time guys and girls you can see on the screen we had an incredible trading week quite a few winning trades and you can see on the screen this is the result that we had last week we have almost 8 plus percentage gain net gain last week like every other weeks so if you want to trade this instrument like gold euro dollar and gbp usd with us and also learn our strategies you can find a link in the description area you can visit the website for potential joining and learning our strategies to become an independent professional trader so with that said let's look at now dxy how it is doing starting with the monthly perspective to see the general direction in the market now dxy is highly bullish now this one will tell us how dollar and usd pairs might perform as you can see on the monthly dxy came to this very important level of support zone here which is already been tested and we have seen a rejection this resistance tested as support rejection that means that we might now continue to see that dxy is pushing high now looking at the weekly we see that there is a, a nice looking pin bar is formed to the upside on dxy and this resistance here resistance here which is acting as a support and created this pin bar means that we can potentially see a big push to the upside on dxy looking at the daily we see that on the daily perspective the price has created a nice looking inverted head and shoulder and with that inverted head and shoulder we have seen last time trading with a narrow candle which is in fact a breakout from this in inverted head and shoulder and how we can trade now if we draw a level here this inverted head and shoulder what i think that that zone could be respected on the lower time frame if you look at the four hour we see that dxy already has created a nice looking bullish price section so once we'll see a significant retracement to this level and then we'll consider based on the price section confirmation from this zone to go long with dxy with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at us oil Again, we'll be looking at the monthly. The US oil on the monthly, we have seen a very, very strong aggressive move to the upside. We have seen that the price created this big move correction. Again, big move correction. Big. Now it is preparing for another big move to the upside on US oil. Now, this price action, this bullish candle on the monthly, you see from this very, very important level of previous so, you know, resistance on acting as a support now weekly perspective we see that in fact us oil has created this giant bullish candle on the weekly then how we can trade i think that this week we might see further rise or maybe a dodgy on the weekly time frame so then how we can find a, a trading opportunity in this bullish market now looking at the daily we see that this is a big move on the us oil a big move you see the bro has broken all this level now the price is you know approaching this resistance level here so from here what i think that us oil we might see a little push to the downside probably we'll test this zone here this previous resistance zone which might act as a support so let's draw potential levels where we can expect us oil to come back and test 
Now, for our perspective, we see that this is a very strongly bullish market. Now, from this zone, we might see deeper retracement to this level, acting this previous resistance, which is a support, and then going up. Or another probability for US oil is to do a slow retracement in this zone and then to go up. So, based on the price action confirmation, we'll consider going long on US oil with a high probability trade setup with our students. Now let's look at Euro CHF. Now as you can see, Euro looks like a little bit of bullish, but Euro CHF, we see that moving in a sideways, CHF is always a stronger currency, Euro getting stronger, so they are moving in a sideways on the lower time frame. Now let's look at monthly, in fact, to see what's happening. Now on the monthly perspective, we see that CHF, Euro CHF, in fact, a bearish market. So if you see the previous monthly candle, we see there's a bearish and buffer which has, uh, you know, crossed the high, crossed the low, created this candle. What I think that Euro CHF finally will come back down, feel that monthly week. So that means that we could potentially see further drop on Euro CHF. If you look at the weekly time frame, we see that Euro CHF has created this strongly bearish market. Now you can see there is a big bullish engulfer followed by this dodgy. Now there is a one probability for the weekly perspective. Now long term, as you can see, bearish. But weekly we have seen this dodgy. Now, after this dodgy, what I think Euro CHF might do this upcoming week, after a drop, we could see an uprise as this dodgy has formed in this support zone here. So looking at the day, so you have seen now monthly and weekly a little bit of contradictory. So that's what happened when you see, um, you know, multiple time frame is very important. That is why. Now on the daily, we see that Euro CHF created kind of bullish price action. It's a long term bearish, but you see this is a big move followed by this correction. Now we can expect another impulse before creating, you know, final drop to the downside. And what I think that Euro CHF might create another impulse to the upside and then we might see that Euro CHF is coming down so then how i will be trading as this is a long term bearish market i will not be a buyer on euro chf but if we see that euro chf has gone up tested this previous you know uh, resistance here with the support created any kind of you know bearish price action on the lower time such as double top or you know head and shoulder we'll, as soon as we'll find that we'll consider shorting euro chf otherwise we'll be remaining in a sideways on euro chf as you can see in other pairs Euro looks like bullish, so Euro CHF finally uh, might move still in a sideways. So now let's look at Euro GBP. Now Euro GBP, first of all, we'll be looking at monthly time frame. Now monthly, we see that Euro GBP now to me it's a strongly bullish market. Previous months, you saw this is a shooting star, big long candle on the monthly with this body. Now in the first week, we have seen significant retracement came to this monthly support the price tested this monthly opening and close exactly well there is a red candle we see now pushing high so from that zone we can expect now euro gbp to go at least certain level of this long week let's assume that at least half of this long week can give us in fact a nice looking target for this move to the upside now looking at the weekly we see that this is the weekly candle on the euro gbp and there is a dodgy has been created from this previous resistance acting as support and what i think that euro gbp will respect this level and will continue to go up on the weekly perspective as well now looking at the daily we see that this is the daily time frame on euro gbp and we have seen there is a liquidity grab here okay and now the price is creating a bullish pattern what i think that this is the daily chart I sincerely believe that Euro GBP, what it will do from this trend line on the daily, it might come back down, probably will cross one or two days low, and then will create a bullish engulfer and then will shoot to the upside. So, with that said, let's draw this zone here, and I think that that could be a very important level of support here, which is support here. Okay, this level could be respected, the price may come back down here, and from this zone, we could potentially see that Euro GBP. Is going up now on the four hour perspective. We see there's a bullish engulfer already been formed. If we readjust this level, 
it is possible that euro gbp even to continue to go up from here so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on euro gbp we'll consider going long on euro gbp with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro jpy we'll be looking at monthly first of all this is a long term bull market as you know that on euro jpy and euro looks like uh, looks like getting stronger upcoming week and that means that euro jpy might see some bullish setup on this one as jpy getting a little bit of weaker so monthly perspective we saw this middleman it's a bullish market the price has gone up came back down again from here we can expect another push to the upside weekly we have seen a candle okay this is a dodgy after the previous six big bullish candle dodgy now what i think that the price might break the low of the weekly or without breaking we might see that euro gbp is going up uh, looking at the daily this is the daily chart what we see that in fact euro jpy has created a kind of inverted head and shoulder on the daily and from this zone we can expect a bullish setup on the euro jpy on the lower time frame perspective so let's draw this four hour time frame to see how it is doing now as you can see the price action here is it's a kind of if you draw this level then you'll understand in fact how it is doing now with this trend line the price respected this resistance here which is acting as a support here acting as support so what we will be doing is we'll be waiting for a potential retest of this support and as soon as the price will create from this zone a bullish price section will consider going long on your jpy for this move to the upside with a high probability trade setup with our students and the same thing guys you need to keep in mind that on the four hour we see the price in fact created a head and shoulder so it is not impossible to see that you know jpy has broken down and continuing to the downside if that's the case that is why we need price action confirmation if we see that euro jpy in fact has broken that level if euro get weaker in that case we'll be considering shorting euro jpy based on the price action confirmation uh, according to the rules of our strategy now let's look at nzd usd as the usd pair is getting stronger nzd usd getting weaker as you have seen last week also we secured quite a few trades now this is the monthly price section we can see on nzd usd previous months this is a very very strong bearish candle followed by this month we have seen significant retracement to this previous support zone acting as resistance and we have seen now on the monthly we see rejection because already it retests some level we can expect now a drop in this at least certain level so weekly perspective we see that there is a liquidity gap on the weekly like OZ dollar same way NZD USD and what I think that NZD USD might do primarily could drop and then could go up for a retracement so looking at the daily we see that on the daily there is a liquidity gap with this 20 period moving average and from that zone we have seen that NZD USD in fact created a bearish price action and we can expect NZD USD now continue to drop then how will be trading for me to trade NZD USD let me look at the possible trend line here and then we'll see on the forward perspective you can see this is the nfp time the price created this price action strong drop followed by consolidation and drop now what i'm expecting for nzd usd like you know gbp usd or euro dollar nzd usd to go up and test this level which is the previous support zone acting as resistance and to create a nice looking bearish price action as soon as you'll find that according to the rules of our strategies we'll consider shorting nzd usd with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at us 30 how it is doing now us 30 this indices as you have seen in, in the during the weekdays and live stream quite a few analysis has been made and the price did exactly as expected now let's look at now which where the market is heading monthly we see that us 30 first of all after this big draw this month the price gone up to this very important liquidity zone monthly previous support which is acting as a resistance if we draw this we see that this resistance here support here acted as a resistance and we have seen a rejection what i think that this is the monthly candle we might see now a drop on us 30. looking at the weekly 
this is the weekly candle that has in fact a huge liquidity gap testing this previous support zone here uh, if you do extend in the past this is a very important level which is now acted here as a resistance and we have seen a bounce now you can see if you look overall market there is a head and shoulder drop now neckline of this head and shoulder this previous support tested as a resistance rejected means that we can expect now us 30 to drop now there are two ways it can drop the first way is just to drop immediately to the downside without you know any retracement to the upside another way is to go up for retracement and then to continue to drop so how i'll be doing let's look at daily what i think that us 30 might go up for retracement what i think that we might see that us 30 has retraced to this level and from that zone as this is the resistance here which is if you extend you see this level acted here as a support in the past now on the forward perspective this is the level that we are targeting is the previous neckline of this head and shoulder on the four hour time frame you see this is basically a liquidity gap okay, it has broken this trend line has gone up so with that said this is the previous support here support here which is which can be tested as a resistance and that is the very very high uh, you know area of value liquidity zone for potential shorting on us 30 as soon as we'll see the price in that zone testing this previous support neckline of this head and shoulder is a resistance will consider shorting us 30 with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nasdaq nas 100 let's look at bigger picture as well now nas 100 we see that this is a big there's a big probability for this instrument to drop after the previous monthly close it's a very strong monthly drop followed by this month you see there is a gap opening and with that gap opening the price has gone up already tested this support which has been rejected you know which is acting as resistance now with that rejection what we can expect now that's 100 to continue to drop a weekly perspective we have seen on the weekly there is a dodgy and this is a very very you know bearish dodgy on the weekly it has a liquidity gap from this zone crossing the previous weekly high and also tested the neckline of this head and shoulder and then we have seen a very strong drop on nas 100 so with that said guys what we see that from here i think that we even might see just melting from here to the downside on nas 100 now if you look at the daily perspective we see that nas 100 on the daily time frame has a very strong you know a bearish move there is a liquidity gap here with this 20 period moving average and then we have seen that nas 100 is coming down that how we can find a trading opportunity for me as i mentioned like on us 30 we could potentially see a retracement to the upside or without retracement let's see possible scenarios now on the four hour perspective if i see as you can see there is a nice looking head and shoulder okay on nas 100 clear head and shoulder has broken down so if i see the price has gone up for retracement to this level in that case we'll be considering shorting nas 100 from this zone with a high probability trade setup one possible scenario another possible scenario is nas 100 to retrace slowly to this level or maybe if we see a gap opening and then a strong drop that means that we may not see this level is being tested the support is being tested as a resistance in that case if we see a strong drop then on the way based on price action confirmation we'll consider shorting nasdaq 100 with a high probability trade setup with our students now these are the forex and cryptos now let's look at bitcoins and ethereum how they will do now as you can see that this instrument is creating price action like the indices they're fully related so let's look at now on the monthly perspective on btc now monthly uh, as i mentioned in quite a few analysis btc usd in fact a long term bearish market starting from this zone you can see that btc usd created this big head and shoulder on the monthly big drop with that head and shoulder followed by this narrow consolidation is also a bearish price action okay so when you see a move like that followed by this triangle is basically a bearish price action so with that said btc usd in fact created a very strong bearish price action so there is a bearish angle from the monthly followed by a dodgy it's a continuation pattern so we can expect now btc usd to go lower 
so with that said weekly perspective we see a, a nice looking bearish price section here as well you can see strong drop correction drop correction now we see it's creating for another drop so with that said monthly weekly long term bearish now looking at the daily what kind of price section now daily time frame the same way we see that there's a big drop okay correction drop correction drop and then liquidity grab okay big drop correction drop it's, it's happening in a pattern you can see now we see another liquidity grab and now it's preparing for a breakdown so what i am expecting on BTC USD to break this local daily support zone here you can see this is the previous support zone here it's the support here support here support here now from this from this zone we want to see that BTC USD in fact to you know break down and as soon as it will break down we'll consider shorting BTC USD on the retest of this previous support zone as a resistance as soon as you will find and you will consider shopping with a higher probability trade setup with our students now let's look at ethereum usd and see what kind of price action it is doing monthly we see that ethereum highly bearish the same way as btc usd after the big drop correction now we can expect ethereum usd to continue to drop looking at the weekly see that the same thing like the btc usd there is a big drop rise drop correction drop now it is a very narrow correction means we can expect another drop so which is a healthy trending market now looking at the daily this is the price section that on the daily time frame we have seen that you see starting from here there's a liquidity gap and then big drop correction drop correction so there is a consolidation of the daily so that basically um uh, momentum gaining momentum and we have seen now there is a liquidity gap here as well from this resistance has broken now coming back down then how we can find a potential selling opportunity on ethereum usd now if you draw this level here which is the previous support zone here support zone here you know what you want is ethereum usd to break down and then to Test this previous support zone acting as resistance and then we can consider shorting ethereum usd from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students so these are the cryptos indices and forex pairs that mainly will be looking and in addition to this any other pairs giving us trading opportunity absolutely i'll keep you updated thank you for watching guys and girls and if you want to learn our strategies and also trade with us all these pairs you can find the link in the description area you can visit the website you can join and trade with us if you are interested thank you for watching i'll see you soon in my next video